Callum, how much are you all looking forward to this semi-final at Hamden? Yeah, obviously a, a big occasion, a big game. So, you know, naturally the, the players are excited and, and looking forward to the game as a professional footballer. These are the days you want to be involved in. And given that, how important is it that the fans help create that spectacle as well and make it a memorable day for, I suppose, the right reasons? Yeah, of course, you know, that's that's what we want. We want everybody to turn up, you know, go to the game, enjoy it, have a safe environment for, for players, um, supporters, you know, everybody involved on the day, then, you know, safety is paramount in, in that sense. But, you know, hopefully after the game, uh, everybody's enjoyed it and, and everybody's talking about the football. I okay, I'm just on the, on the fans. How, what sort of a difference does it make having that 50-50 split, the atmosphere that you're going to have at, at Hamden on Sunday? Yeah, I think it's a it's obviously a good split. You know, it it, it gives both sets of supporters a, a chance to go and back their team, and I think it makes the atmosphere a lot better. Um, then obviously the league games, you've got a small section or you know potentially no fans there, then it makes it difficult for the away side. So this obviously being a neutral venue, you know, fifty fifty split in terms of supporters, and hopefully that should make for a good spectacle as well. That's a year you've gone without defeat in this fixture. How much confidence does this group have going into games against Rangers at the moment? Yeah, we just always approach them the same. You know, we know that they're, they're tough games. You always prepare um, as best you can in, in the week leading up. You know, of course, anything can happen in these games. There's, there's two good teams with good quality um, going at each other. And, and the preparation to that is key so that when you go on the pitch, you give yourself the best chance of, of being successful and... You know, recently we've done that, um, like you said, and, and obviously that then just continues this week. The build-up's been good. Um, the boys have trained really well. Um, we're looking at the detail of the game and and then always, as cup games, you have to bring a big performance um, to make sure that you go through the next round. Hi, Callum. Um, do you expect anything different from Rangers this time around in terms of maybe tactically? Because it would seem they maybe need to try something different given that they've not won against you in five games. Um, you know, we're, we're predominantly looking at ourselves um, in terms of the training week, what we think we can bring to the game, as always, you know, that's that's number one. And then, of course, you know, in the games against Rangers this season, they've tried, you know, probably three or four different systems to, to try and stop us in, in each of the games. So, you know, we're, we're preparing for, you know, each of those scenario, scenarios and, you know, whatever one we face then, you know, hopefully we'll have the solution to that come come the game and, and it's just about trying to find out, you know, where the space is and and how we can beat that press and, and progress the game forward and, and try and be dominant in the game, which is what we want. That's the way we always want the game to look. So, you know, we've we've done my preparation, we're looking forward to the game and then you know, like I said, as always in cup games you have to you have to perform in the big stage. You mentioned after the Motherwell game, I think you described it as a little blip. Um, what have you guys said about that? Has it been a case of, of flushing that performance pretty quickly and moving on? Or have you reviewed it in terms of how you can move on from it? Yeah, we always review every game, you know, whether it's positive outcome or, or not so positive. Then, you know, we'll always look at the game, look at the detail behind, you know, maybe why we felt it wasn't as slick a performance as what we're used to. Um, so we did that when we came back in at the start of the week. Um, try to find the right solutions to that and then, you know, implement that in training um, into the week and then obviously looking at this game at the weekend. Um, so, you know, obviously it wasn't a, a positive result for us, but, you know, hopefully we've taken the learning from that and applied that in the week's training and, and hopefully we can apply that at the weekend. Hi, Callum. I think a few of the players have maybe mentioned after the game that you weren't at your best in terms of the game against the last game against Rangers, but you still managed to get the win. Is that something that you can look at as a positive given the fact that you still won and, and there's maybe still a lot more to come from you? Um, I think obviously when when you win these games, of course it's a positive, you know, and you obviously come away looking at performance because, you know, that's the type of team that we want to be. We want to not only win these games, but we want to win them well in, in terms of performance. But, you know, first and foremost, let's make no mistake, it's about winning these games and, and when they come around, you know, performance-wise, of course you strive for, for perfection, but you know, the ultimate aim is to win the game. Um, and we're glad that we did that. That showed a side to us that, that is good. We want to win. We're super competitive in the game. Um, and, and that kind of carried us through the fixture, which which is a positive as well, because you need that. Um, even when you're not playing so well, you, you need that willingness to win and, and run and fight for each other. So, of course, you know, at the weekend, we'll be looking for a better performance. 
um, in terms of the technical and, and tactical aspect of the game. Um, but we still have to bring that competitiveness that, that, that won us the last game. So hopefully we can marry the two and, and we'll have a, a positive um, experience at the weekend. Yeah, I remember the manager saying afterwards that he didn't feel it was a game full of quality. Just how hard is it in a game when they are always so chaotic? How hard is it to stick to the game plan and try to keep playing your football when there's so much else going on? Yeah, well, that that is the challenge. Um, you know, that's what we're looking for. You know, you got to have a calm head. You got to, you know, see the detail behind the game and and how you can progress the ball forward into the areas that you want to do. So, of course, you got, you've got all this chaos, you've got all the, the hype of the game and, and the fixture, and it's trying to stay calm within that and, and obviously implement the game plan that we feel um, can be effective. So, you know, it's just about, you know, having that personality to stay calm and and, uh, and put your foot in the ball and, and make some passes and, and, and gain control of the game. But, you know, as, as always, it's, it's easier said than done. Well, as, as, as Skipper on that kind of topic, as Skipper, do you kind of do anything differently for these games because of the there's so much at stake? Maybe nerves get to, to some of the players that kind of mean so much. Do you have to try and work extra hard to maybe calm a few folk down? Um, I, I suppose in, in terms of the, the build up of the game, um, your, your words can have an effect. But I think it's you know the the combination of the the training week and the message that that you try and implement through the training week that, that can make the difference. And then, of course, when you go there and you feel the environment, um, it's it's hectic, it's it's chaotic. It's then about trying to have enough players that, that can gather themselves and, and implement what you've been doing all week in training because that's been the base of the work that, that hopefully can make you successful. So, of course, the experienced ones have a, have a part to play in that um, on, on these occasions. And, and obviously, we'll be trying to do as, as best we can to, to try and make the performance look um, the way that we want it to look. I know you said before when uh, somebody asked you about um, going into this game five games unbeaten that you just approach it the same. But does it does it make any difference that you've had that good run, or, or just is this game just one of those standalone ones that you can't take anything for granted? Or? No, of course you, you can't you can't take anything for granted in football at all. Um, you know, let alone semi finals where, of course, the the emotion of the game and the, and the hype around the game is is big. Um, I think you just have to rely on, of course, your, your past experiences and, and, of course, you take some sort of a confidence from that, that that you've been unbeaten so far. But you then just have to take the aspects of all the performances and, and try and put them together to, to make sure that you maintain that run. Um, you know, you, you don't get any extra credit for, for turning up to the game being unbeaten. It's, it's after the game if you've managed to come through the fixture um, with a positive result. Then, of course, you can look on that and, and, and say it's been a good day. So... You know the week's training has been fully focused on what we can do every day to to prepare ourselves and and then we cross that white line on Sunday. Then hopefully we've done everything we can to to make sure it's a positive um, experience for us. Hi, Callum. Um, probably one of the silver linings from the weekend was seeing yourself getting back on the score sheet. Can we expect to see you getting into the final third a bit more over the last part of the season? Um, well, it just depends in in terms of you know where the manager, um, you know sets up the team in terms of positional, um, you know, obviously you're playing in that deeper role, then that makes it a lot bit more difficult because your job is is then trying to sort of build the team, build the play, um, control the game for a sort of deeper area. And and then obviously it's the, the two eights with the more advanced um, midfield players, then it's, it's maybe more their job to, to get involved in the attacking side of the game and, and, uh, and, and be creative. So, you know, it just depends, you know, what the manager sees um, moving forward. We've we've seen the manager, um, you know, debut Alistair Johnson earlier this season uh, in this fixture, and there's a lot of other players in the squad that are yet to experience this. Never mind, uh, you know, at Hamden or whatever. Is there a is there a lot of excitement in the squad, or is there a lot of kind of you know how are the, how are the new guys kind of feeling in anticipation? Uh, no, they're good. Um, you know, we've got a good group here. You know, everybody's you know firstly excited for the game. They're looking forward to it. You know, I get the feeling that this group enjoy the big. Um, the big occasions, the big days. So, you know, the, the training week's been good. Everybody's in a positive light. And then, you know, just touching on Ali as well, he's he's been superb since he came in. Um, he's played a few of these games already and, and you can see his personality within the group. Um, he's been outstanding. So, you know, if you look at guys like that coming in um, with that confidence and, and personality, then, you know, hopefully the, the group will feed off that um, energy. And, you know, it doesn't matter how long you've been here, you know, you have to be ready and, and up for these occasions. Hi, Callum. 
Um, the manager was saying during the week after the post-split fixtures came out, he was disappointed that the Celtic fans wouldn't see the team at home for three weeks. Now, just get your take on that two tough away games and particularly the one going to Tynecastle to potentially seal the title. Uh, yeah, obviously it's a it's a tough run of fixtures. You know, they've been it'd be nice to get one of them at home. Um, so obviously for the for the supporters, that's you know that's a disappointing thing for the players. Of course, it's disappointing as well. But you know, I just think over the the course of the season, you know, you have to play these games and in, in whatever order they come, then you know that's the reality of it. We have to we have to face it head on, um, and and you got to go and win these games. So you know that's the challenge for the group. Hopefully. You know, when we get back to Celtic Park, um, then there'll be a brilliant atmosphere. But, you know, for the time being, obviously, we'll get a lot of focus on the weekend. And then once that's out of the way, we then look at the game at Tyne Castle. Um, so, we, we again, we just go game by game basis. And whether it's at home or away, then, you know, we have to prepare and, and give the absolute maximum for this club. And you've played Rangers, you know, quite often in the last few weeks and months. Every, every time you play these games, do you pick up something different from each of them? you can learn from? Yeah, I think that's the same in, in every game, to be honest. You know, you, you, you play a lot of these teams in the league four times, three or four times within a season, maybe more if you if you get them in the cup. And I think just the nature of football, every game's different and, and you always learn um, little bits about each opponent every time you play against them. So, you know, Rangers are no different to that. You you try and bank the knowledge that you've got and, and, and against any, any games that you play then, you know, there's there's little crumbs of information that you can take and, and hopefully apply that into the into the next game. So, you know, it's it's just the same for every team really.